what up, what up? This is Daylon Barnes from Manchester University. Play defensive back, nickel, cornerback, strong safety. Uh, sitting at 5'11", 190. Right now we're in uh, 2nd Avenue, 48th Street in my stomping grounds in the Kershaw District. And I got an interview from the Gridiron crew. Got my dad holding, uh, holding the phone and doing a question and we're about to get into it. Let's go. Daylon, it's a great, great morning here in the city. As always got a question for you what goals did you set and or accomplish in your final collegiate season this year or this past year okay so my number one goal that I accomplished this year was to be a captain and just to be voted on as a captain by your peers and your brothers and your coaches, it meant a lot because that means they look to you as a leader, they look for you to guide, they look for you to take care and handle the business as a man, and not just as a man, but as a football player. And that was the biggest goal that I set this year that I'd accomplished. And I was real proud of myself because I humbled myself and I'm just a natural born leader in the way I was able to lead and take control of situations and get players to be brought into the program, it was great. The second uh, goal that I accomplished was me getting the interception you know, me playing defensive back and outside linebacker and stuff like that. I wasn't really able to get an obsession my whole career, but to finish my senior night and my last game as a Manchester Spartan and get an interception, even though the refs tried to call it incomplete, it, it made my day because I, I know I'm destined for more. So that little touch or the scrape of the surface was great for me. So One thing I sports. noticed over the past four years, they simply didn't go to your side. Man, they, they didn't want to. That was one of the problems. It's all right, man. I, I tell them I'm a linebacker that can cover, man. I'm, I'm physical. I'm coming downhill, and you can put me on your best receiver, and I'll lock them up. But that, that was some of the things I accomplished this year, and I was very proud of. Absolutely. Question. What would your coaches and teammates say about the type of player that you are? I think my coaches and teammates would be very honest to say I'm just a natural-born leader. I take charge of situations, and I'm simply the hardest-working man in the room. I come in any situation, I outwork any and everybody, and that's simply just how I feel. I'm just, like I said, a natural born leader. I can come and take charge of situations. I can, I feel like I can really, you know, my confidence, as our coach told us, my confidence is contagious. So I feel like I can come in the room, I can be disciplined, I can be my confidence in a rub off on the other players and we'll all be brought in together. Very good. Were those leadership qualities built here in the city of Los Angeles for they you? They were, man. Come on, now they, they tested us as always. When we was kids growing up, this, that's what the city does. It builds us into these men that we are right now. So. Character. Definitely. Character. Most definitely. When you were studying film, what do you focus on to improve your game? I think for me, what's worked best for me, because everybody has different things that works for them. I think what works best for me is basically studying the receivers or running backs' characteristics. How do they act on first down? How do they act on fourth down? How do they act on second down? Are Tendencies. They giving, exactly. Are they giving the same type of energy and enthusiasm they running the ball with or running the route with on the first down? Or are they giving the same type of energy when they block and things like that? So I'm studying things that'll help me get better and things like that. But of course, working off leverage and other things like that. But those feel, are my things. That you feel me. that football has a high end of mental rather than just physical? It does. It's definitely a mental battle over physical battle because if you can't simply go in a, a situation, mentally grasp it, and be able to be able to calm yourself down and focus in high-intensity situations, then you won't make it. Simple as that. Absolutely. What separates you from the other pro and prospects at your position? I'm Daylon Barnes, I'm authentic, I'm 100%, but not for real, the, I think the most thing that really separates me is my will to just not be beaten and not succeed. I just have a will to do better and succeed and I know I'll succeed at any level. I know I can over achieve any goal or any obstacle that anybody puts in front of me and I know I can go get anything. I'm a go-getter, I'm a hustler by nature. Growing up in South Central LA, they teach you things like that. So I think I can really I'm really just the hardest working in the room. My confidence is poised, and I think that's the type of player. I'd rather show it than tell you, though. In the room is key. Exactly. As a student athlete. Because exactly. we're talking about in the classroom. Classroom, weight room. There everything. it is. Absolutely. What is your off-season plan to train and prepare for professional opportunities? As as. As I'm doing right now, I'm just gonna stay consistent and be disciplined. That, that was actually my 2020 goal, was to be more disciplined and consistent in life and everything I do in life, whether it's football, 
rather it's going to class every day or rather it's doing homework every day. I just want to be more consistent and more disciplined. And right now I'm working out five days a week and ready for this pro day I have in March. But I, that'll be that consistently just working and perfecting my craft and getting better every single day because we all got the same 24 hours at the end of the day and I'd rather use mine every single day to get better and reach my goals instead of you know sitting on my butt and not really doing nothing complaining the position I'm in so I'd have rather you been, go take charge. Have you been also character building as far as business thereafter and the life thereafter football also? You have to because we all know football doesn't last forever and we just have to be smarter now, like like Marshawn Lynch said, protect your bodies and protect your chickens, man. <laughs> Got a plan, 1A, 1B, and exactly. 1C. Exactly. Very good. What kind of strengths and abilities will you bring to a team that will stand out both on and off the field? Strength I'll bring to a team, hard working, discipline, and I feel as if the most important, I'm coachable. Uh, just coming back from my South Carolina All-Star game, coming from Indiana and then driving 13 hours to South Carolina, I was mm. asked to come in an unfamiliar situation. Fortitude, got to get exactly. there. Exactly. I was asked to come into an unfamiliar situation, bond with a bunch of guys I've never met, and just go out there with a, all one collective goal of simply to win and dominate the opponent. It was a crazy experience, and I was just blessed to be able to do it, but you have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. And that's one thing I feel like I've mastered. I was able to go in the situation and I honestly dominate. Coming from a D3 school and getting recognized by my talents and getting invited to the highest level playing in the game. And I actually balled out and it was just a blessing. I was I was blessed to bring it. So Key character traits. Exactly. To adapt to any situation. Exactly. No matter the circumstances. Last but not least, what is your final pitch to the NFL or any other pro leagues? My final, they have an interest in you. My final pitch would be that my uh, my meaning of success is when opportunity meets preparation. And I've been preparing for getting my opportunity with the NFL since I was the age of six. Rather, it was working out with my dad, running hills at the age of six, going to track practices at the age of eight, playing rugby at the age of 10, playing soccer, getting my feet work right, even getting a little basketball in there. I'm, I'm disciplined in everything I do. And, it's not enough words that I can put in to really convince somebody that I'm ready for this. I'd have to show you on the field, show you the person I am to be able to convince you that I'm truly ready for this opportunity, ready for anything anybody throws in front of me. And I know I can play at the highest level, at the highest speed, at the highest everything, because I know the type of player I am, and all I need is that one opportunity. That's it, the that's city all. believes in you. The Got city is behind city. you. Got love for the city. The city the city not going nowhere. The city going to forever be behind me. That's it. I represent South Central LA, Crenshaw District to be specific, until I die. Absolutely. Shout out to Gridiron Crew. Shout out to my dad for recording and asking me the questions, man. I really appreciate the opportunity. Shout out to God, most importantly, man. They line out. Y'all have a blessed day. Well done, son. You're on your way. Yes, sir.